A film about Stephen Hawking was inevitable, but I would have never have called it being a love story. I would never have called that. The theory of everything. The theory of everything is, as you all know, is the story of Stephen Hawking. And basically, it starts out when he's in Cambridge, studying for his PhD in physics, I think it is. And basically, it shows him going through the various stages of the other illness that makes him Stephen Hawking, you know, through the computer and stuff. And basically, the story of this site uh, is going through his life, basically, until, like, some specific moment, I don't know when it was, somewhere in the modern day, but basically basically from when he was in university, going through all the various stages of his illness and his love life with Jane and stuff, and it's basically that. That's basically the main gist of the film. Going into watching this, I was expecting this to be like so in your face art sale. I was expecting it to be like oh just like over the top romance, just boringness after boringness. But I actually like this film a lot more than I thought I would. And I think the main reason why I like this film a lot more than I should have done is because of the performances from the cast. They straight up make this film. The guy who plays Stephen Hawking, I'm sorry I don't know his name, but the guy who plays him, he's awesome. He's absolutely great as Stephen Hawking, especially like when he's going through the various stages of his illness, like where he's all like walking on his his sticks and stuff, and he's like, he's talking like this and stuff. Like, I was really surprised at how he managed to pull it off and make it feel real and make it feel realistic when he's doing that. Lucy Jones was really good as Jane, Stephen Hawking's first girlfriend and wife. Thought she was really good in the film as well. The rest of the cast, I can't really name off a few. I mean, I know one is Lupin from Harry Potter. He was good in the film when he was in it. But the rest of the cast is really good. But it's obviously it's all about the main two stars, Stephen Hawking and Felicity Jones. They, they were really good in this film. Really good. The one thing I loved about the film as well is the director. I think the directing's great. I mean, you can tell by how he directed it that he wanted people to feel like the emotion and how difficult it is for Stephen Hawking and for Jen going through his illness. Like he's collapsing on the floor, smashing his head off the ground. He can hardly talk. He's choking on food and things. He's like coughing up blood. You can tell that like not only is this having a, a not only a physical and personal effect on Stephen Hawking, but it's also having the emotional and personal effect on Jane as well. And from the camera work and from like obviously the acting as well, you could really actually like, get involved and you could actually see the emotion in these characters. I thought that was really good in this film. Now I know some people will watch this film and they'll say it's boring and it's just a soppy love story and I can see why they would say that because that's pretty much the passive audience saying that because people who just watch like films for explosions and gunshots and I know and I know I'm this film there is some boring parts in this film. This film's not like my favourite film of the year, but it's not terrible. I mean it's good, it's a good film. But it's just like everyone's been praising it and praising it and praising it. I can see why they do praise it and that's pretty much the same reason why I praise it as well. It's just I don't like overpraise it. I'm like, yeah, the camera work really awesome, the acting really, really good, the direction really well done. I'm like that. I don't just I don't over exaggerate. But I'm not necessarily the kind of person who needs to have gunshots, action, explosions and battles of five armies in films for it to be entertaining, I mean, or good in that fact. I mean, I mean, like, for example, 127 hours, I just looked at it on my, uh, my DVD shelf there. I, remember, I, I really like that film because it's just a good film about survival and struggle. I mean, not every film has to be action-packed for me to like it. Like Joe that came out this year with Nicolas Cage, hardly any violence in it and I really like that film. And the same with The Theory of Everything. I mean, there's no action or violence or explosions or definitely no Battle of Five Armies in this film. And I liked it. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. Is it my favourite film of the year? No, I wouldn't say it's my favourite film of the year, but it's still good. And I would still recommend it, especially if you like romance stories and dramas as well. So it's a kind of it's a romantic drama and a bit of science got put in there as well. Yeah, quite a bit of science. But for what it is, I will give The Theory of Everything a 6. So have you seen the theory of everything and what did you think about it? Whatever you think, put them in the comments below. If you like this video and you want to see more, then all you have to do is click right here.